Welcome into our Locked On NFL Insider Report. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens, joined by Isaiah Stanbeck, our Locked On NFL Insider once again. We're talking Baker Mayfield today because he is now officially the starting quarterback for the Panthers. Now, I think most of us assumed he was going to be, but now Matt Rule has declared it official. He went into camp and said there was going to be a competition, right? Um, they had a rookie in there. He's out for the season. And Sam Darnold and Baker's pretty much won the job in about six weeks. That's the craziest part about this. Obviously, Baker Mayfield leaves the Cleveland Browns. He, in so many words, demands a trade because of the Deshaun Watson situation. Finally gets his wish, gets out of there. All they had to do was give up a conditional round pick and cover mm, $10.5 million of his four, you know, $14, $15 million contract. So it leaves the Browns with a $10.5 million uh, deal that they have to sign, take care of financially. But the Carolina Panthers get Baker Mayfield for $4.85 million, which is an easy deal for them but then you factor in the aspect that they go, went ahead and gave Sam Darnold the fifth year option which totally guaranteed his 18.8 million dollars so by making this decision the Carolina Panthers now have a 4.85 million dollar starter and an 18.8 million dollar second stringer or backup quarterback is a fine it's a very crazy situation but this lets you know exactly how much of a gap there was in this so-called quarterback competition clearly i mean it seems like they got a bargain a starting quarterback and then they're paying their guy to hold the the clipboard quite a lot of money every week um it, it was a competition in some sort, but obviously you want to make this, I want to talk about the timing of this because Matt Rule came out and made this announcement pretty early on in the preseason because I, I think it's obviously if you're trying out for a team like that, you kind of want to know who your guy is going to be as soon as you can, right? You definitely want to know that as soon as you can, but you have to remember this trade didn't go down until July 6th. Here we are now with August 22nd. So this is a competition that took place over the span of about six weeks. So the decision, they had to give Baker Mayfield for the opportunity not only to get acclimated to the system, but to also give him a chance once learning the system to actually execute it and have an opportunity for a fair quarterback competition. These guys are drafted. Let's not forget these guys are drafted in the same uh, in the same draft back in 2018, where Sam uh, Sam Darnold was the third pick overall and Baker Mayfield was the first pick overall. Since then, during their time as starters, Sam Darnold has a record of 17 and 33, and Baker Mayfield Baker Mayfield is 30 and 30. So, one guy has the edge in terms of winning percentages even though it's only 50 percent he gives matt rule who if you guys might have forgot is in the hot seat he has back-to-back -back losing records okay five and eleven over the past few years oh and by the way the carolina panthers have four consecutive years of losing records i'm pretty sure that this organization and ownership is tired of losing so when you look at which guy gives you the best opportunity of winning not only looking at their past records but also looking at their future who gives you the best chance baker mayfield has the biggest big playability and they're pretty sure that the team is really rallying around him if they're if some of their comments in their post you know in practice post game practice uh, comments have anything to do with it absolutely they definitely want to start winning again rule obviously in the hot seat a little bit so he's let's go with baker let's try to figure this out right their first game of the season is against the cleveland browns you, <laughs> you it's almost like they wrote the script this way um what are we going to see out of baker from week one i mean obviously there's going to be some extracurricular thoughts there i mean against his old team kind of a redemption game but what will we see out of him on the field in terms of how he's going to fit into this offense I think that actually I'm glad you brought that up because I think that has something to do with the decision being made right now as well. It's going to give Baker Mayfield an opportunity not only to walk into these meeting rooms as the leader of this team. It takes all the speculation, takes all the questions out of it. It gives him the full boat of confidence that he needs to be prepared for that first week because he is going to be emotionally on a high. He has a lot of stress already as he continues to learn this system. He has stress in terms of earning the respect of his teammates in the organization. And now you add the element of he's going back into an environment that uh, he doesn't know how receptive the fans are going to be to him. He's pretty sure he's going to want a little bit of payback to how, how they treated him on his departure out of Cleveland. So he's going to have a big task ahead in terms of just controlling his emotions and staying focused leading up into that week one. Take some of the pressure off, at least know that he's going into the situation so it's not a late decision mm -hmm. for him. Obviously, September 11th, that uh, is first game is going to be between the Panthers and Browns. We'll all have eyes on that. Isaiah, thank you for joining us. I'm Kainani Stevens. This has been Locked On NFL.